<clears throat> Barbatos is the only competent member on our team. Even so, this difference in strength is astronomical. We'll need more than just Barbatos' power to face off against the other teams. We gotta do something about this. Why are you looking at me? Oh, you know, you're sharp. You, you get what I'm trying to say. Make a summoning pack with me, pretty please. I'll forever be indebted to you if you do. Oi. Not so fast. Are you trying to go behind our backs? Oi. Depending on other people to win, do you have no shame? Huh? What are you guys talking about? We were just having a really little chat. <laughs> oh, really? I don't know. Yeah, right. You think I'd fall for that? <sighs> it's blatantly obvious you're lying, even to a moron like Mammon. It appears that arguing about who gets to form a summoning pact with a human. Stuff like this is first come, first served. I refuse to accept that. Huh? It's a scam, I tells ya. <laughs> Boo, that's cheating. <sighs> tut tut, tough luck, guys. This is how things work in the real world. Huh? Oh yeah, I'll show you what real pain feels like. No hitting. <laughs> Might we have a word with you? From the looks of it, it appears you haven't made a summoning pact with anyone. No, I haven't. Thank goodness. I'm glad you aren't anyone's partner yet. However, that could change any second to an uncapable. If I could, I'd love to make a pact with you and enter the tournament. As do I. It's not every day I have an opportunity to fight with you as my partner. According to tournament rules, summonable supporting players are barred from making dual packs. Does that mean you and I are rivals? Those four will probably keep going at each other's throats until they give out. They probably will. That would mean either of us gets to form a pact with her. Only one of us. Eh? I suppose we have no choice but to fight as well. Hmm. Violence won't solve anything. <laughs> as much as I'd like to win, I may rest assured I have more sense than to stop a fist fight with Belphegor. <laughs> Wanna settle this by seeing who can fall asleep faster? I believe there's a much more appropriate way to settle things. A game of chess. Since our problem has to do with Super Smash Devils, it is only fitting we resolve it by the same platform. We'll play a game, whoever wins shall make the pact with the human. How does that sound? Fine by me. Let's get this over with all those guys are still busier. Huh? Wait, are you having a one-on-one -on -one SSD battle? Ugh, so much for trying to be discreet. Perhaps battling out together would help prevent future arguments. What do you say we wager the right to form a pact with a human? And Super Smash Doubles. I like the sound of that. Is that okay with you? I feel like Levi would end up winning if I'm being honest. <laughs> you said it, human. We all know how this is gonna end, so you might as well make me winner by default. Oi. Did you honestly think we would agree to that? Yeah. Alright, let's do this. No way, who could have foreseen this? <laughs> How are you so good at Super Smash Barbatos? <laughs> A butler must be sufficiently good at everything they attacked. <laughs> Guess we got no choice but to tickle you so we can focus. <laughs> oh shoot. <laughs> uh, well, I guess I have to end the episode here. See what happens when you like to tickle a sick and look like Barbot Mammon? Huh? I'm busy. I'm grab the wrong. <gasps> That's Lucifer. Hmm? <laughs> eh? I brought you guys some snacks. What are you all doing here? Is this another lecture? I guess I'll stay and watch. Nom nom nom. Nom nom. Ugh. Yada yada se.
I was wondering what the ruckus was all about. This is what you were up to? Huh? When did you swap places with Barbatos? Mm. You didn't? Barbatos dodged your attack and you ended up grabbing Lucifer instead. <sighs> Fighting over the human is one thing. But SSD brawl? <sighs> My apologies. I didn't mean to get carried away. I wish I could have seen you lose your cool over a game. Did you really think you could settle this quietly without it turning into a fight? Why don't you have the human join the tournament some other way? That's probably for the best, honestly. How would you suggest? How about we have them cheer us on instead? You know, I could totally live with that. I would love to have this person as my number one stand. It's kind of vague. How would she even know what to do? Oh, I know. Why don't we cheer you on first so you can get an idea of how we want to be cheered? You're the best. Your dazzling smile has the power to woo every demon and devil them. <laughs> give me a G. Give me an O. Give me an A. Give me a T. You are the G O T, the greatest of all time. No literary masterpiece or biography will ever be as perfect as you. <laughs> You're the only one more dazzling than a gold credit card. Almost blinding, I'd say. Does that even count as encouragement? I feel like they're just showering me with praise. <laughs> Goes to show everyone loves you to bits. I'm gonna say anything, Barbatos. Yeah. You make my heart so full. I don't know what to do with myself. I was trying to decide how to best convey my emotions in the form of motivational chants. All of us feel the same way about you. I suppose we simply have different ways of expressing it. Anyway, I think we made it clear we all want you to cheer us on. If you'll cheer for me at the DVR tournament, I promise to dedicate my victory to you. Eh? I do. She'll give 110% so you feel like cheering for me. I promise you won't take your eyes off us. Mm. You're adorable. I love you. I want to be forever by your side, sleeping with you every day. Isn't that more so a declaration of love? Cheerleading basically means telling someone how you feel about them. In that case, I don't have anything but love for her. 